So it's the end of the day of my testing and um, the scanner is now completely kaput, it doesn't want to work. Um, not uh, <clears throat> All I did was switch it back on, switch it back in and thought, well, I'll try something else, I'll try another another scan and um, yeah. It's not having it. All I was doing, trying to do is let's scan in one of my sculpts which I've scanned in using photogrammetry apps on my uh, iPad, uh, which turned out fine, but not, not really enough detail. I was kind of hoping that this would be good enough to scan my face. I've been trying to scan my face or various models all day, and um, it just doesn't scan properly. And I've gone through a whole bunch of tutorials and I'm following the instructions. And I think it's the scanner because now the scanner's not working at all. So I've either got a duff one or it's just a piece of shit. Um, the append. So when you you can scan something and pause something um, and then do another scan. You can put those two scans together and you can append the image. So like if you don't get all the way around the head, you can come back. Or if there's holes in your model, you can come back and um, join it. And either... Even if you do it manually or automatically, the two pieces don't line up properly. Um, so um, it's not good. The software is very slow. It doesn't matter if I stick it on an RTX or, um, uh, or a 360. It is very low. Um, part of the thing is, is that when you're scanning, it's just capturing the frames as you go along. It's not like photogrammetry where you, you you find your position click a button find your position click your button so on and so forth it's just constantly saving so if it's a difficult scan and, and you're trying to get it in get everything in the frames wrap up ramp up real fast so you end up with this massive uh, file which obviously would would take a, a while to process um yeah, it's um, the scanning itself is you know there's not much of a window to scanning. The turntable scanning thing doesn't really work properly anyway, and it's a very small um, space that you can actually scan in um, because there's a very because there's a, a, a uh, excuse me I'm holding my phone here because there's a short or very narrow width. For the actual scan itself um, that means you only have basically that much that you can actually scan and buy that high on a turntable um, so if you want to do bigger models and again I'm just thinking heads here heads are my sculpts and my like 12 inch maquettes that sort of thing flower pots um, if you want to do that sort of thing then you have to do it manually by walking around and I assume that all the IMUs in it would function the same way as you know any photogrammetry app that it would register your position and it seems to be doing that um but it's just not very good um the level of detail in the point cloud that you get is 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 is, is really good and what it does with the data that it's got um, does construct a reasonable model it doesn't texture it i asked it to texture it and export it but it didn't texture it and that's what I paid for it's the texturing model and it captures the texture but it doesn't save the texture which is kind of which is rubbish um, so the model that I've got is, it scans the face and also you can take the photo at the same time and then it will put put a mesh on it but that didn't, that didn't happen um, and it doesn't like this fuzz or this fuzz much which is not much of a beard, really. It's just a bit of stubble. It would not capture anything under my chin, so there's big gaps here. Um, and then, of course, didn't like my my shiny dome. So, and if you change the settings of the brightness, I thought, I, you know what? I'll scan the face. I'll scan the face at one setting, and then I'll do the dome at another setting, so it's not quite shiny. Um, it's the shininess, I guess, that's that, that's causing the problem, or it's brighter. Um, <clears throat> so that didn't work. 
Um, yeah, it's it's not a very good product, and I'm hoping it's just I've got a shit one. The one they've shipped out to me is just faulty and it doesn't work the way it should do because now it's not working at all. So I'll get onto a 3D Maker Pro and have a chat to them and uh, get them to send out another one or just give me a refund. Um, it's a shame because I waited, waited ages for it. And it's, it's one of the things that I really dislike is, is I don't pre normally pre-order stuff, but I wanted to pre-order this because it was a reasonable price and I had a bit of money in my pocket. Um, and I thought that's what I want to do because I wanted to scan the people's heads and make masks either based out of their their features or to you know, to their actual dimensions. I guess, um, and there are things I wanted to do with it which I don't I don't think I can and maybe I can't do it at this price point. But the videos are very misleading and the website's misleading and a lot of the reviews seem misleading as well. Which I, I I'm like, are they even genuine? These scanning reviews. Um, which makes me think I just have a duff model, fundamentally. I must have one that's just not working how it should do. Um, but um, yeah, uh, a very disappointing day. Um, I wanted to be scanning heads in and getting stuff done. Ultimately, what I wanted to do was to take that down, um, go out and scan people. You know, I wanted to go and scan people's. There's no way you could scan a pet. This will be light. The infrared light is where you can see it. So it's clearly not infrared, or maybe there's an infrared part of it, but it's also flashes a bright um, purple light at you. So you're, it, if you're susceptible to strobing, even if you don't use the, the color capture, that's gonna be a problem for you as well. And uh, it doesn't like stubble. So I can't do stubble or beards. Um, has all the limitations that that any other scanner has which is if it's remotely shiny you've got a plastic toy you've got a spray it with a matte coat just so you can actually um scan it in so you can stop the reflections it does not like plants at all um maybe flat leaves one side and another side is fine it can do that, but that you can just scan that in. You don't need they, you don't need a three D scanner for that. Um, I did scans of my own little models, and the detail was fine. It was not great. Uh, I didn't expect it to be great because they were they are very highly detailed. And uh, pack it up, leave it. I'll plug it in tomorrow, see if it's any better, and then I'll talk to 3D Maker Pro and, and uh, find out what's wrong with this piece of shit. I do not recommend it so far.